Okay, well, let's talk a little bit about um, all these health problems that are related to EMS. For example, um, I know that if for children, they mm -hmm. you know get the worst brunt of this. I think it's you know their brain blood barriers are so less dense that they're basically their entire entire brain becomes irradiated when they use a cell phone or where they're using a, a tablet or a device that you know isn't protected. So can you just expand a little bit more on you know what health concerns are related to EMFs? Because I know there there are many. Yeah, the, there are um, a whole list of of potential health concerns that are are caused from EMF. And the, the studies now have been accelerated because since we moved from 3G to 4G, they've been able to determine the health effects even more so because of that jump from the power um, that the phone emits. Uh, and also the, the repeating factors that the, that the different phones will have um, coming off of it, like you can slingshot a signal from one phone to the next phone, and that can increase the power of the, of the, of the device itself. So like the device is almost like a, its own mini cell phone tower. Exactly, yeah, precisely. So basically the health concerns, um, wide in variety, you're looking at headaches, dizziness, um, nausea, and then you have a, a hypersensitivity phenomenon going on with the um, EMF or EMR coming off of these devices and even cell phone towers as well. Um, but yeah, the, there, are, there are many, many health concerns um, that, that uh, are plaguing people. Um, some of the biggest ones are, are the headaches and insomnia. Sure. Those, are, those, are very, those are very big, but getting back to uh, the children, their bone density is so much thinner that the frequency penetrates into the brain so much easier. And then you have an absorptive material like fat tissue, which most of the brain is made up of, and that just bounces off all of that, that tissue in there, disrupting the DNA, breaking, um, breaking the covalent bonds and causing oxidation at an accelerated rate. Uh, sure. causing a lack of focus um, for, for children. And I know in Europe now they're banning the cell phone um, usage and also the cell phone transmission or, uh, that they put on the sides of schools. They're, they're doing away with that. Yeah, that's, well, that's encouraging. Hopefully that'll come here to the U.S. Exactly. Yes. Especially, we would say, so significant neurological issues um, definitely related to these these EMF devices. Would you agree? Yeah, definitely. Um, you know, numbness in the hands, tingling in the hands, uh, even temporary loss of eyesight, uh, the dizziness as, as well. There's so many different factors that come come with uh, overexposure from the EMF. Sure. And then since we're on the topic, uh, I, I've heard like cordless phones are also mm -hmm. a huge problem. They say having a a deck, a DEC cordless phone in your house can be, you know, worse than having like a cell phone tower right mm -hmm. in your house. So that's you know not a solution for. You know, no, definitely that. not. No, yeah, yeah. The cordless phones are are high powered. The battery packs are bigger, and they're going to have more of a penetration to them. Okay.